Greetings and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we have Moto G85 5G smartphone and in this video I'll show you some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of this smartphone. So watch till the end and enjoy this video. Firstly let, let's explore some of the personalized feature of this smartphone. In this phone you can customize a lot of stuff on the home screen. Let's explore this. Firstly you have to tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize. There you can see you can change the theme of the smartphone. You can select your favorite one here i have selected this one you can change the fonts of this smartphone to change it simply click on fonts now you can see there are four four options you can change default android slab or square one you can change the ui color as well to change it simply click on colors and then select your favorite one and then click on save and that's how you will change the ui color you can even change the icon shape, click on icon shape and then you can see there are 5 options. I think this one is looking good. Click on this one and then click on save. If you want to change clock faces, shortcuts and mode then click on lock screen. Here you can see there are a lot of options for clocks as well. And if you want to change the notification style you can also do this. You have three options for this list, chip and bubbles. Select your favorite one and then simply go back and it will change to that specific clock face. You can also change the fingerprint animation as well. Click on finger animation. You have three options. Select your favorite one and now whenever you will unlock your phone by your fingerprint it will show this specific animation. So these were some personalized uh, feature of the smartphone. In this smartphone, you can't take a screenshot by swiping down with your three fingers, but there is a gesture which, by which you can click a screenshot. Simply use your three fingers and tap and hold on the screen and it will click a screenshot. You can read deleted messages from WhatsApp and Facebook as well without downloading in third party app. Simply open your settings, scroll down and then click on notifications. There you will see the option of notification history. Simply click on this and then enable use notification history. Now it will save all the notification which will come to your phone and it will show even the deleted messages here. You are going somewhere but you want to charge your phone immediately. There is a feature of charge boost in the smartphone as well. This will speed up your charging and charge your phone very quickly. To enable this simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again scroll down there you will see the option of charge boost. Click on this and then enable use charge boost. Now it will speed up your charging but keep in mind it will heat up your phone little bit as well but it will increase your charging speed a lot. If you are a music lover the next feature will blow your mind. You can change your song without even unlocking your phone. To enable this simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Again scroll down and then click on media control. Firstly enable use media control. Now whenever your phone is locked you can long press the volume up button to play the next song and you can long press your volume down button to play the previous song. So that's how you can control your media without even unlocking your phone. If you read ebook or you use articles a lot then it feels very annoying to keep on tapping your screen to keep it on but there's a feature of attentive display by which you can just keep on looking at your screen and it will not turn it off. To enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on display. Again scroll down and then click on screen timeout. There on the bottom you will see the option of attentive display. Enable this. Now it will prevent your display from turning off if you are looking at it. By default this phone doesn't show your battery percentage in your status bar. To enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on battery. Again scroll down and come to the bottom there you will see the option of battery percentage. Simply enable this and it will, it will start showing a battery percentage in your status bar. This phone comes with two different notification center styles. If you are bored with this one you can change it to the second one. To change it simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on home and lock screen. There you will see the option of control center, click on this. By default it is selected to classic style this one. If you want to change it to the modern style, click on this. And now your notification will be changed to this one really cool looking control center. You can also double press your power button to launch your camera anywhere while using it. 
If it is not enabled, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Scroll down a little, there you will see the option of double press power click, click on this. If it, it is selected to none, then click on launch camera. Now whenever you will double press your power button, it will open your camera application. This phone comes with 144 Hz of refresh rate, but by default it is selected to auto. To get the smoothest experience, you have to select to 144 Hz. Simply go to your settings and then click on display. There you will see the option of option of display refresh rate. Click on this and then select 144 Hz. You can turn on your flashlight by just shaking your phone like this and turn off by just shaking it. To enable this, simply go to your settings, scroll down and then click on gestures. Scroll down and then click on fast torch and then enable this. Now whenever you will shake your phone like this, it will turn on your flashlight and if you will shake it again, it will turn it off. If you will long press your power button, it will open the voice assistant instead of power menu. If you want to change it to power menu, simply come to your settings and then scroll down then click on gestures again scroll down there you will see the option of press and hold power button click on this by default it is selected to google assistant you have to select power menu now whenever you will long press your power button it will open your power menu you can also double tap to lock your smartphone and double tap to wake up your screen to enable this simply go to your settings and then click on home and lock screen there you will see the option of lock screen click on this now scroll down to the bottom there firstly click on lock jump to lock screen and then enable use to use jump to lock screen and then click on put the display to sleep and then enable this use put the display to sleep now whenever you are on home screen simply double tap on the empty area it will lock your smartphone and double tap on the phone to wake your screen as this phone comes with curved display, there is a feature of edge lighting that looks really cool. To enable this, simply tap and hold on the home screen and then click on personalize. Scroll to the bottom, there you will see the option of edge light. Click on this. Firstly, select your favorite color and then enable for which you want to use your edge lighting. Select incoming call, alarms or app notification, whatever you want. You can also schedule your edge lighting as well. So now whenever any call will come, it will show a cool edge lighting on the corners of the screen. So these were some amazing tips and tricks and hidden feature of the smartphone. If you like this video then let us know in the comment section. We will see you in the next one. Till then have fun.